Man, behind the scenes, we got the Hyundai, some six foot cubes. We're back working for Ralph. You know what that means? We're working with water. <laughs> <laughs> we have absolutely no clue what we're getting into, and I'm positive nobody has a plan. No, no. Uh, that and uh, the rain. Yes. Man behind the scenes, here's what I do know. This we, is the job. Several videos come out of here. Yep. This is the job where we built the retaining wall, which looks absolutely awesome a year later. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 uh, they did get the garage moved in. You guys see the garage is here. Everything's holding up. Everything looks good. So the next adventure on this particular project is uh, they want to install a boat dock down there. And they hired uh, Ralph, which we've done a lot of work for Ralph in the past. To install it and he has decided to take these concrete cubes and use those to anchor the boat dock <laughs> we're gonna go with that for now so plan uh, we got we, it's been raining non-stop the last couple days we got more rain coming in later today so what we're trying to do today is just get ahead of the ball game a little bit so i think we're going to take the hyundai machine take those cubes and just stage them right here so they're on the job site and ready to go I was gonna take the Hyundai machine and set them down by the river, and the machine is more than capable of doing that. But there is a lot of sharp rocks down there, and there is rubber tracks on the machine, and I really do not want to destroy the tracks on their machine. So we may, we may back up and punt on that and uh, get a steel track machine in here to set them. But either the way, let's get these things unloaded. I think so. give you guys an idea these are the six foot stacking cubes they weigh anywhere from 4,000 to 4,500 pounds and this machine we loaded these with these this machine this morning they handle it surprisingly well look at that I mean just almost with ease that's pretty impressive that's a that's a pretty good counterweight hanging out there on this little machine The ultimate goal here is we're going to track just straight back and forth and try to do this without making uh, any more of a mess. Any more of a mess in this guy's driveway what we need to. The bigger the mess, the bigger the job becomes because we got to clean that up. So. All right, let's set her down here. How far dare we reach out there? You know what? I'm going to put the blade down. We're going to go for it. Impressive reach right there. Yeah. <laughs> spin it, spin it long ways. Long I think. Ways. Yeah. Next time I want to see you do it without your blade down. I don't know about that, there, bud. You want to stay down there? I'll bring you the next one. I know I'm not good. All right, he's going after the next one. He said he can get it himself. Now, I guess the bet is how many times until he can get it hooked. Okay. Let's see once. Ooh, strike one. Can't see it. Now I know what I would do, and I could get there. We go. All right. I tell you what, since it didn't go all the way by, we'll just give you one strike on that one.
Oh. That'd be a cool picture with the flag in the background. Yeah. You should put some you, steps. Right, right here. This is, this is perfect. Uh, you're tall enough, you might be able to get all the track in it. Gotta get to Instagram and Facebook. Bro. That's right. Yeah, it is. All right. We got it off, but what I don't like, I don't know if you see this. Let me line it up there. He's about an inch and a half off of being perfect. It's storing. Hey. Look, I got a tool for that. Oh, no. That's like cheating right there. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, he fixed it. There you have it. All right, I like that. Safe. He's going to make a heck of an operator one of these days.
Tell you what, Aaron, that, uh, that machine continues to impress me. I think, uh, I think to handle those blocks really well. I would have no concerns at all about being stable enough to set them down there. My only concern is sharp rocks and rubber tracks. If you owned the machine, what would you do? I'd be over that hill in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't own the machine. I don't want to buy new tracks for somebody else's machine. So we're going to do the responsible thing and tear up my own machine instead of somebody else's. But mission accomplished this morning. We got more rain coming. The cubes are sitting here. In theory, I should be able to sit down there with uh, either the Volvo or the 120, whichever one we bring in here, not destroy his yard, grab him, swing him, and set him down there. I'm not exactly for sure what Ralph's playing is. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully, we'll be back in the next couple days to set these things. So, yeah, we're off. it off when we do this but we may need the bucket for adjustment purposes so we're gonna leave it on for this go around I tell you what that wouldn't be a bad idea so I don't have to walk up here through yeah. the yard every time Coming in, you tell me where you want it.
want to set that next one before we adjust it? What's that, bud? You want to set that next one before we adjust that one? I think go set there, bud. Okay. You like it, I like it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Watch the changes, bud, to make sure it stays on. Back on that. Yep, I see that. Right, you can confirm after I went to the well. Yeah, that ain't no joke. I just, that's whenever I did notice that it was hooked up yet. No, I think it's a wise decision to use 120. Thumbs up from Ralph that often. I take that one.
yeah. What an absolutely gorgeous job side view. You guys see that out there? there? Love it. All right, we got five set. We got one more to go. Plan is starting to come together. Let's walk up here and grab this last one real quick. I got a witch. Wiggle myself between two rocks right here. One last time. I think we'll be good. bank is a little bit steeper than what it looks, let me tell you. There we go. Set this one on there and then we'll tap them around. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and get this one set in there and then we'll tap them together.
can reach over. That's good. Right. Hey, uh, now we want to try and come up with enough stuff. Let me get this all anchored in here, bud. Then we got to try to come up with enough feel to make a pad to come out here. Be all right. Right, kind of brainstorming and figuring this out as we go as you guys can see we got filled in Ralph's got all those cubes bolted together so it's basically one solid piece of concrete right now I'm actually gonna wash this rock off real quick so I can see what I got what we're gonna try to do now is take some of these flat rocks and build a little bit of a walkway up here on top hopefully I can get to that existing sidewalk over there to the new boat launch area, which will be right here. So, I'm going to kind of mess with some of these flatter rocks if I can get them down in there. Whether it's feasible to walk on. Big jigsaw puzzle. Let's take this one right here, maybe. Well, these rocks got straight edges on them. competition. Just about got ourselves worked up here to the top of the hill. We'll be uh, get these last few ruts here cleaned in. And I'll take it out and show you what we got. Go from there. We didn't make near as big as best as I thought we were going to, as wet as what it is. Actually, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I tell you. This is what we ended up with after it was all said and done. I believe it's going to work pretty, work pretty well. Ralph has got a floating dock on pontoons built, and uh, I believe what he's got is things that come in here and accept. They sit right on top of that, and he'll be able to anchor it in there. So you remember those ones underneath? All this weight sitting on this has kind of got this chalked in here. It's kind of got it to where it can't move. Hopefully, in theory, but. Uh, Looks pretty sharp, makes a nice little wall. Uh, they're talking about coming in here and filling in all these little cracks with concrete, which is the same as what they've done up through there. So that load should look pretty sharp and work out uh, work out pretty well. I think I think Ralph's going to set the dock later today. So 
maybe we'll hold off on ending this video until uh, he actually gets the dock set and then we can get the uh the full full picture of what's going on but we got ourselves cleaned up we didn't make near as big as mess as what i thought i was going to that all worked out uh really 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 well but uh our part of it's done so stay tuned i'll see if i can get some video of the actual dock Here's what she looks like from the river guys it turned out absolutely awesome i do apologize i misunderstood ralph just a little bit he does actually have the docks built which are some floating pontoon docks but he does not have the gang planks built he was kind of waiting to get these foundations in to kind of see um get some measurements and just kind of see what he needed so he acted like it was going to be a week or two before he got those in so we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up here at this point but as we go up river just a little bit uh this landowner here actually has got uh Two different properties we actually put in a second dock uh, our second foundation for a dock just up river here a little bit i didn't get a whole lot of video of this one uh, but it went really well exact same setup uh, nestled back in there fits good and uh, ralph's going to put an identical identical dock on that one but guys that's going to be a wrap on this one hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always guys we shall catch you on the next one